do you think you cross a line, though, of just being disrespectful at a certain I point? I am fine disrespecting the left, honestly. Jason's confrontation with Congressman Rangel was shot more than a year ago, before the mainstream media was covering the story. Some of the issues Jason grills him on would become the subject of an ethics committee investigation, a full-blown Washington scandal. Growing up here, you just learn how to defend yourself at a very early age. And I've just seen so many homes broken and devastated growing up here in Brooklyn. Uh, that's why I'm a big advocate of, of free market uh, ideas, of uh, free enterprise, because that's the only way to lift someone out of poverty is through capitalism, no other way. On this day, Jason is in D.C. to talk to a group of young conservatives, high schoolers, and to sell his book, Obama Zombies, How the Liberal Machine Brainwashed My Generation. Here he is, the author of Obama Zombies and editor of Human Events, Jason Mater. So you may be asking, what is an Obama zombie? For Obama zombies, it is style over substance. It's all about feelings, not facts. I think many Obama supporters forgot for a moment that they were electing a president and instead thought they were supporting Will Smith. What do you think are Obama's chances in 2012 if Obama zombies still do not see reason? Uh, I guess I'll give you the, the good news first, is most of the country thinks Obama sucks. He's campaigned on one thing, and he's giving us something completely different. How do you hope to influence these kids? Well, being a role model, to have someone who's closer to their age, who's also um, very active and, uh, um, uh, and accomplished, it just shows that it's not so far off. It's attainable. Jason's fan base is growing, even with high-powered GOP veterans like Karl Rove at this fundraiser in Colorado. Let's get a pick. Will you send me a copy that's autographed? I will. And maybe inscribe like, I learned everything I know from you, thanks. Based in D.C., Jason is the editor at Human Events, the One oldest conservative so publication important. in the country. We need to block the monster mosque from being built blocks from ground zero. He's trying to attract a younger audience with these videos he posts online. Kind of weird. Does Club Obama have any chunky White House interns I can talk to? Now, with a full-time job... You have to shut up right now. He has less time for his infamous YouTube ambush interviews. Hey, I ain't the one wasting taxpayer dollars. That would be you. And just when you thought you'd seen the best of Jason Matera... I don't care about your partner. Don't you waste it. There's one more confrontation that's never been seen before. We're gonna go visit Dr. Stephen Chu. You may know him as the Energy Secretary of the United States. He gave us the unedited footage. He wants us to paint the roof of our home white. That's all we're water off global warming. We're gonna go visit him. Yes. Hey. Hi. Oh, Dr. Chu. Yeah. What's up? Hey, Jason Matera. Hi, what's up? Who is the solar, the solar panels? Do you have any here? No, we don't. You don't have any solar panels? Thank you. What about... The brother doesn't have any solar panels. Later... I'm just driving back from what was supposed to be a meeting with James O'Keefe. Hey. I'll find out firsthand that politicians aren't the only targets of certain young conservatives. And she said, you're about to be punked. You're 21, and how long have you been doing these videos? This, I guess, would be my fourth year, because I started when I was 18. We take the video camera and we use them because, in a way, they're a weapon. Lila Rose is an undercover activist. They can reveal truth and show what's really happening, say, inside an abortion clinic. She creates short films from her undercover work, 
mostly from inside Planned Parenthood clinics. Lila poses as a young teenager and pretends her much older boyfriend got her pregnant. She wants to see if counselors advise her to get an abortion or call the authorities to report statutory rape. Okay, I didn't hear the age. I don't want to know the age. After this video was released, this employee was fired. Still, Planned Parenthood calls Lila's videos misleading. Those tactics to us are unacceptable. We think they're unacceptable to any reasonable person. But Lila has no plans to stop. She and her team continue to go undercover. Lila gave us more than seven hours of unreleased video, a glimpse into the movement. So this is what it looks like when you go undercover, huh? Where's the remote then? Well, I can't get it to stay on the spy setting, which means that it won't show the, the clinician that she's being paid. I think it's so important if you want any sort of social change to look historical yeah, totally. and say, who are the people who actually accomplished yeah, things? Yeah, who are the heroes? You know, who the William Wilberforce is? They spent like time that. in jail. They spent time being ignored. They were born, burned at the stake. They were shot for what they believed in. What, what's, what about us? Right. What are we going to do? No, you know what? Sure. It's <laughs> this is a great adventure. I never had blonde hair before. And um, I never really even dyed my hair before except to darken it a little bit. <laughs> they now have a poster and some of their clinics with my picture on it saying undercover reporter so the picture had brown hair and I'm gonna have blonde hair my word for the day well I don't know if I have a word um actually maybe the word would be power this is a cause that few people are fighting for and to be surrounded constantly on this trip with these incredible allies which is what you all are it has been just an, a thrill for me.